the first step, I want to just kind of tease you guys with what it looks like when you have a fully flushed out database. In, in the discovery database, which is what we're going to be working in here today, um, this is going to be what your analytics page will look like when you have imported data. It'll tell you a high level overview of all the documents that you have in there, and you can kind of start building out your search, sy search syntaxes for what you want to be reviewing um, and when and why. But um, when you first create a database, it's gonna look something like this. Welcome to Next Point Discovery. Let's go ahead and, and import some files, get something in here for you. So if I hit import files, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take me to our import wizard, which shows us the different types of imports that we can do based on what data we have available to us. And so I think it's important to distinguish the different types of data that we have when we're importing to make sure that we're doing this correctly. Because um, if you make a mistake there, you might be missing out on valuable metadata that could be helpful for identifying what it is that you're looking for, especially if it's production from opposing counsel where they give you a load file with that metadata. We wanna make sure that we're using that appropriately. So there are three different types of imports all of which we're gonna try and get through today. Uh, the first is gonna be the single mailbox and multiple files types of mailbox. I kind of group these together as basic type of imports as they are, um, they are very similar in how you go about structuring them and setting them up. Um, the first one being a single mailbox, this is represented by PST, OST, or M boxes. So PSTs being um, collected inboxes from Outlook, same thing for inboxes being collected from Gmail. Um, so essentially it's just a zipped, um, a zipped file containing some, somebody's a custodian, if you will, the owner of that inbox. And so um, even though it's one file, it'll be, when it is imported, it will be unzipped. And then you'll have hundreds, if not thousands or, or even tens of thousands of documents from that one zip file. So that's the single mailbox type of import. Multiple files can be the same thing. It could contain e emails, Word documents, PDFs, whatever, but it's more of like just a, a random hodgepodge of documents that's not necessarily collected from one, in, one single individual. So you might not be able to identify that this is from a single custodian, um, but you still are able to go ahead and import those loose documents, those multiple files in here, and it's gonna be a very similar process. So those are our, our basic types of imports. To the right here, we have the production with load file. And so if you look at this, I, li I like this imaging because you've got the manila folder here with a plus sign showing that these are the documents that are being produced with that are accompanied by a DAT or CSV load file. And the load file, uh, the way that I like to describe this is essentially it is a map of those metadata fields to uh, assign that data about the data, which I know can sound incredibly boring, but is really, really important when it comes to e discovery to be able to identify things based on uh, the dates, based on the authors, based on um, all those things about the data that's not just what you can read on it um, to make it easy to know, okay, who knew what, when, and, and things of that nature for like timelines. So it's gonna be a map of all of that data layered on top of those documents that are being provided, which is extremely important. And so this is gonna take a few more steps than these two will, um, but we will go through that as well. I don't touch on the manual. This is what was done prior. This is for people who have been with NextPoint for years and are accustomed to manually uploading or importing their documents. So I don't really touch on this in the training. And then the overlaying, we won't touch on here today, but is for if you have documents that have already been imported, but you somehow got additional metadata about those documents that could help you with your searches. Instead of deleting those documents and going through that import process again, you can just go ahead and overlay those metadata fields on top of those existing documents that have already been imported, which is extremely helpful. <clears throat> 